Good morrow, ladies and gentlemen of the internet. My name is GamerX. Just this just a bit. Alright, um, today I'm going to be showing you guys how to reach the librarian. Now, one of the fastest ways you can do it is if you have a library card, which I don't think I have one of, uh, you can teleport to him instantly. However, I'm going to show you the default way to get to him. And just for reference, uh, you do start the game off in the bottom left-hand corner of the map, where that tall square is that's undiscovered, mostly, that like dark blue area. And you're going to want to make your way through the maze of map until you reach this long hallway where I'm at now. All you've got to do is just fight your way through all of this. I'm going to show all of this just as kind of a... Always be sure to grab that too, by the way. It's 250 bucks every time you do that. In between those two red statues. Alright, so, uh, now that you've reached the end of your journey, you'll find yourself here in this little tower. Now, if you have the bat transformation, you can just fly right up here. Uh, but if you do not, I'm going to show you guys how to do that as well. There will be a boss battle in here where you have to fight yourself. So, just a heads up. Anyway, here we are. This is the little uh, thing. As you can see, we were just here. So, we're going to fly back up. Alright. Now, I can't remember if this elevator is automatically unlocked. I think you have to turn it on. But if you do have it, just go up one level, and I'll show you what I mean. You'll come up, you'll end here, and then just walk down these stairs. You're going to open up this door. You're going to come through here. When did I pick up an axe? Hmm. Oh well. I hate the axe. So yeah, here we are in this giant rectangle. So essentially, whenever you get into the library, you go upstairs, and then you come downstairs. I'm just going to jump to make it faster. You come down here, and you'll reach this little stone area. And then you come through here. And... When, if you use the uh, mage card, by the way, or the library card, it'll teleport you to this location. And then you just walk through here. And here he is. Now, 
if you're under, you see there's an area underneath of him. And as you can see under his chair, uh, there's that little area. So you can, you can't talk to him if you're the level below, like in the floor below, but you can still see him, which is kind of annoying. But he sells gems, you can sell him gems, you can buy items and stuff like potions and hammers and library cards, speak of the devil. So once you get here once, just buy a couple library cards and you should be good to go. And there's all kinds of things in here you can buy. Alright, well, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Be sure to leave a like, comment, or subscribe, or one of, yeah, or uh, any combination of the three. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. That's all for now.